Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Understanding the psychological theories for the MCAT is extremely crucial. You're going to want to know everything you can about these theories, and beyond that, you should be able to relate almost any term you encounter to an overarching umbrella theory. To give you a better understanding of some of these theories, I want to place them on a timeline. In the past, we have the psychoanalytic theory. That theory focuses on your past, your past experiences, your childhood, and focuses on how that past experience might have influenced your unconscious. For the present, in the here and now, a theory that talks about this is Kurt Lewin's force field analysis. In this theory, he focuses only on the current factors that are affecting your behavior and whether or not those factors are leading you towards or away from actualization. So for instance, in this force field analysis theory, we are not focusing on maybe some past experiences that might be causing you to act the way you are. We're focusing on maybe the current time pressures you have to make it to an appointment on time, or maybe you have a friend who's trying to get in touch with you, or these things that are happening at the very moment. Those are the things that he focuses on in this theory. Finally, a theory that focuses on the future is called fictional finalism. According to fictional finalism, we are more motivated by things that don't exist such as the future and our expectations for the future than our past experiences. So for instance, according to fictional finalism, you are more motivated to study for the MCAT because of the MCAT score you're trying to achieve than your past experiences scoring well on the SAT or ACT or something like that, right? So in summary, the past is analyzed very well by the psychoanalytic theory. Kurt Lewin's force field analysis theory focuses on the here and now, and fictional finalism states that you are going to be more motivated by your future than your past. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of how some of these theories relate to a timeline. Let's take a second look at the question stem. According to the psychoanalytic theory, what two things influence our behavior? Answer choice C is the correct answer here, because according to this psychoanalytic theory, our childhood experiences are what create our unconscious desires. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.